welcome back to dream catcher we were discussing the chapter number 9 that is strategies for enhancement in food production and last class i haven't discussed one point i'll tell that okay yes you know this is a new breed for sheep development in punjab you know what is that method by which breed is developed we use cross breeding okay and name the parental breed of the species or the of this breed see these two are the parents this might be asked in the next exam which was asked in the previous year 2021 okay then we'll go to the next point that is fisheries fisheries is an industry devoted fishery is an industry devoted to the catching processing and selling of fish this is a uh, shellfish or other aquatic animals the large number of our population is dependent on fish fish products and other aquatic animals such as prawn crab lobster edible oyster etc for food some of the freshwater fish which are very common include kadla rohu and common carp some of the marine fishes that are eaten include hilsa sardine mackerel etc okay and through aquaculture okay mm, through aquaculture and fisiculture fisiculture we have been able to increase the production of aquatic plants and animals both freshwater and marine okay then next to talk about plant breeding plant breeding in india we use we started green revolution which was started by who okay the father of green revolution was known as m s swaminatha and it helped us to develop the high yielding and disease resistant varieties in wheat rice maize etc you know the main feature is that it is disease resistance as there is an advancement in genetics molecular biology and tissue culture plant breeding is now increasingly being carried out by using molecular genetic tools then we could list we could be increased crop yield and improve quality the increased tolerance of environmental stress that is salinity extreme temperature drought resistance to pathogens like virus fungi bacteria and increased tolerance to insect pests could be also listed okay then so the next question which i am going to discuss is the most important question that is the main step in breeding a new genetic variety of a crop first one is the collection of variability the collection and the preservation of all the different wild varieties species and the relatives of the cultivated species is a it's a very important thing you know the entire collection having all the diverse alleles for all genes in a given crop is called germplasm collection germplasm collection the second point is evaluate evaluation and selection of parents the germplasm is evaluated 
so as to identify plants with desire desirable combination of characters the pure lines are created whenever desire desirable and possible possible the third point is the crow cross hybridization among the selected parents there will be two different plants for example a high protein quality of one parent may need to be combined with the disease resistance from another plant this is possible by cross hybridizing the two parents to produce hybrids that genetically combine the desired characters in one plant this is very time consuming since the pollen grain from the desirable plant chosen as male parent have to be collected and placed on the stigma of the flower selected as female plant okay the next point is the selection and testing of superior recombinant okay this step consists of selecting among the progeny of the hybrids those plants that have the desired characters combined the selection process is crucial to the success of the breeding objectives and require careful scientific evaluation of the progeny the next step is testing release and commercialization of new cultivators the new selected lines are evaluated for their yield and other agronomic trait of quality comma disease resistance etc okay and you know india is mainly an agricultural country and agriculture accounts for approximately 30 percentage of india's gdp and employs nearly 62 percentage of the population as only limited land is fit for cultivation india has to survive strive to increase yield per unit area that's when m s swaminatha with his green revolution came okay the first one the wheat on rice the wheat and rice during the period from 1960 to 2000 wheat production increased from 1 million tons to 75 million tons while rice production went up from 35 million tons to 89.5 million tons you know this was due to the development of semi dwarf variety of wheat and rice and you know in 1963 several varieties such as sonalika kalyan sona which were high yielding and disease resistance were introduced all over the inti- wheat growing belt of india semi dwarf rice varieties were derived from ir8 and you know and yeah the deriv the derivatives were introduced in 1966 later better yielding semi dwarf varieties jaya and dakna were developed in india we have discussed about wheat and rice and we discussed how it increased um okay and then we studied the examples of some varieties next comes is the sugar cane sakaram barberi was originally grown in north india and who is this this is a scientific name of sugar cane but had poor sugar content and yield tropical canes grown in south india uh, sakaram officinarum had thicker stem so and as you see the two species they successfully cross to get sugar cane varieties combining the desire desirable qualities of high yield thick stem high sugar and ability to grow in the sugar cane areas of north india good right next comes is the millets hybrid maize jowar and bajra have been successfully developed in india hybrid breeding had led to the development of several 
high yielding varieties resistance to water stress the next topic that we are going to learn is plant breeding for disease resistance a wide range of fungal bacterial and viral pathogens affect the yield of cultivated crop species especially in tropical climate the crop losses can often be 6 to 20 to 30 percentage or sometimes even total in this situation breeding and development of cultivators uh, cultivators resistance to disease disease enhances food production okay you know this reduces the dependence on the use of fungicide and bactericides and the next is some of the disease caused by fungi are rust example brown rust of wheat red root of sugarcane and laid blight of potato and then next comes is by bacteria that is black rot of crucifers and by virus tobacco mosaic and turnip mosaic etc the next topic is the method of breeding for disease resistance breeding is carried out by uh, carried out by the conventional breeding techniques which which is the things that i have already discussed before or by mutation breeding okay the various sequential step are screening germ plasm okay the screening germ plasm for resistant sources hybridization and selection and evaluation evaluation some crop varieties get by hybridization and selection for disease resistance to fungi bacteria and viral diseases in table 9.1 it is so important that you have to learn that you have to learn that okay in table 9.1 the crop is wheat variety himgiri the resistance to diseases leaf and strip rust hill bunt okay have to learn all those things just the refer page number 174 of ncert okay then mutation mutation is a process by which genetic variation are created through changes in the base sequence within gene okay mutation is the process by which genetic variation are created on the base pair of the um, gene okay it is possible to induce mutation artificially through the use of chemicals or radiations and selecting and using the plants that have the desirable characters as a source in breeding and this process is called mutation breeding next come the resistance to yellow mosaic virus in bindi uh, was transferred from a wild species and resulted in a new variety okay parbani kranti of oh, what all names i cannot even spell it that plant breeding for developing resistance to insect pest okay and later we have to learn about bio fortification here you have to learn that box table 9.2 which is very important okay plant breeding for improved food quality the most important comes is the bio fortification breeding crops with higher levels of vitamins minerals or higher proteins and healthier fats is the most practical means to improve public health breeding for improved nutritional quality is undertaken with the objective of improving first one protein content and quality oil content and quality vitamin content and micronutrient and mineral content in 2000 maize hybrid that had twice the amount of amino acids lysine and tryptophan compared to existing maize hybrid were developed wheat variety at least 66 having a high protein content has been used as a donor for improving cultivated wheat wow that's good 
it has been possible to develop an iron fortified rice variety containing over 5, five times as much as iron as in commonly consumed um, varieties okay next comes the indian agricultural research institute new delhi has also released several vegetable crops that are rich in vitamins and minerals example vitamin a enriched carrot spinach pumpkin and vitamin c enriched bitter gourd mustard tomato etc iron and calcium enriched spinach and protein enriched beans lab lab french and garden pea next comes is the single cell protein which is the most important topic in this chapter and conventional agricultural production of cereals pulses vegetables fruits etc may not be able to meet the demand of food at the rate of rate at which human and animal population is increasing the shift from grain to meat diet also create more demand for cereals as it takes 3 to 10 kg of grain to produce 1 kg of meat by animal farming oh okay fine and you know one of the alternative source of protein for animal and pl- human con- nutrition is single cell protein the blue grain algae like spirulina can be grown easily on materials like waste water from potato mm, okay waste water from potato processing plants straw animal manure and even sewage to produce large quantities and can serve as a food rich in protein minerals fat carbohydrate and vitamins and certain bacteria species like methylophilus methylotrophus because of the high rate of biomass production and growth can be expected to produce 25 tons of protein okay and next comes tissue culture and the traditional breeding technique failed to keep pace with demand and to provide sufficient sufficiently fast so that's when the technology came with tissue culture it was learned by scientists during 1915 that the whole plant could be regenerated from ex plants that is any part of the plant taken out and grown in test tube under sterile condition then the capacity to generate a whole plant from any cell or explant is called toti potency okay then the method of producing thousands of plants from tissue culture is called micro propagation each of these plants will be genetically identical to the original plants from which they are grown that is called soma clones okay if the plant is infected with a virus the meristem the meristem is free of virus meristem means apical or axillary and axillary okay then isolated protoplasts from the two different variety of plants each having a desirable characters can be fused to get hybrid protoplast which can be further grown to form new plant and these hybrids are called somatic hybrids while the process is called somatic hybridization okay so that's it thank you and have a nice day ahead